if you're a Protestant, even if you consider yourself a non-denominational, you probably know about heaven and hell. If you're a Catholic or know about Catholicism, you could also know about purgatory. Now, a lot of people in and out of the Christian faith know about limbo or where allegedly the unbaptized babies go. While it is not a dogma, it is still a pious devotion to believe in. But limbo, or the Latin Latin word limbus, is a derivative meaning literally hem or border as if as of a garment or anything joined. The theological use of the name is applied to the temporary place or state of the souls of the just who, although purified from sin, were excluded from the beatific vision until Christ's triumphant ascension into heaven. So what that means is after Adam and Eve and before Jesus, anyone who was good, holy, did the right thing and you're a good person, they wouldn't go to hell. But they would go on the hem of hell, the very border of paradise, which here is called limbo. And so it is what some have called the bosom of Abraham, which is biblical. And so with that said, the literary usage of the name is sometimes applied to a wider, more general sense of any place or state of resistance, confinement, or exclusion, and practically equivalent to prison. The uh, not unnatural transition from the theological to the literary usage is exemplified in Shakespeare, though it can hardly be claimed on the evidence of exact literature the de that a definite or consistent belief in limbus of the Christian tradition was universal among the Jewish people. It cannot, on the other hand, be denied, more especially in the extra-canonical writings of the 2nd or 1st century B.C. Some such belief finds repeated expression in the New Testament reference to the subject removes all doubt as a current Jewish belief in the time of Christ. Whatever name may be used in the ap apocryphal Jewish literature to designate the abode of the departed just, the implication is generally is that their condition is one of happiness, that it is temporary, and that it is replaced by a condition of final and permanent bliss when the me messianic kingdom is established. So, just to r sum it all up, limbo is a temporary place just like purgatory. There are only two definite ends, which is heaven or hell. And so, when a person who is unbaptized but has not rejected Christ, mainly infants or unborn children, pass away, and they have not committed a sin, but in their human nature, they have the forefather's sin. So they are in a place of bliss and happiness and peace. There is no evil. There is no pain. There is no suffering. The only difference is they cannot completely connect to God temporarily. So when a soul goes to purgatory, they are in the same state of loss of connection to God. And that is why they are of one of suffering is because they have seen God at the at their personal judgment and then they're placed in purgatory and that absence, that longing is the source of the purgatory's flame. Now, limbo is closer to heaven. It would be, if you wanted to use it as like a childlike analogy, it'd be the very gates, right outside the gates. And the idea or concept is that any 
mainly innocent because nowadays Jesus is everywhere and you either know about him and if you know about him and you reject him, then you're not in this place, you're somewhere else. But let's say an unborn child or someone like that who passes away or is forced away, they, in some belief, don't go to heaven. They will go to heaven. They will et uh, enjoy et eternal paradise. Temporarily, they're in a place of bliss, uh, comfort, probably love and affection. They just are not directly connected to the ultimate source. And that is because the ultimate source is all good and all pure. And because every human before baptism has a stain upon them, that is what's preventing the connection. And then eventually when Christ comes back down from the clouds and many things will be happening at this point, at the end of it, all the damned and everyone who has already been in hell or is alive and going to hell will be thrown into a lake of fire forever. The people who are in purgatory or limbo are released and they are joined to their bodies, their glorified bodies, and will walk the earth again in paradise. That is one theology of the church. Again, this is not dogma. You don't have to believe this to be Catholic. This is just theological speculation. Now, purgatory is a lot more popular, if you want to say that, than limbo. But with a lot of traditional Catholics coming in, their high flex of a lot of younger generations are very traditional. They are bringing back the theological belief of limbo, and I think it makes sense. It's, there's no suffering. Unborn children who die in the womb or die before baptism don't suffer. There's no suffering or punishment. There's just a legal inability to connect. Now, another made the, the more common belief in the world or in the Catholic Church is that babies do go to heaven because God would never separate um, himself from innocence that, ha that has committed no wrong. The, the thing is, and uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to describe because while they are not directly connected to God, there is no absence of God, meaning when there's an absence of God, there is pain and suffering. And God's love is there, probably just as much as in human life, but on a more blissful, because again, there's no suffering. Earth, this world, is more pain and suffering than limbo. But this world is nothing compared to the suffering in purgatory. And that suffering is nothing compared to the suffering in hell. So you have hell at the bottom, then you have purgatory, then you have earth, then you have limbo, and then you have heaven. And that's not a literal thing, but that's just how to imagine it. And with that said, Hail Mary and God bless.